Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Isaiah. Today, we'll be in Isaiah chapter number 54. And let us look at verse 11 as a text verse of Scripture. Notice what the Bible says here. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires. And friend, I pray that God would certainly add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day, a brand new week fresh coffee, and a fresh word from Almighty God. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, Jesus Allows the Storm. You know, my friend, though Jesus could stop all our storms, Oftentimes, he doesn't stop them. Isn't that the issue that makes us all struggle as we journey through this life? Listen, our thoughts is this. If he is God and he is good and he is good all the time and he is my friend, then why would he allow all these difficult things to come into our lives that we have to face? Why does life have to be such a struggle? With the disciples, we understand Jesus was building their faith. He led them into storm after storm, not to dishearten their faith, or to belittle them, but to make their hearts stronger. He did so because he knew what was ahead for them. He knew that they would suffer for his name's sake, and he needed to tear down all of their strongholds of self-reliance so that they could be established on the much more enduring foundation of his holy power and his wonderful wisdom. Friend, don't imagine his reason for you is so different. God has kingdom purposes, and he will fulfill those kingdom purposes through you as well. He is equipping you with everything you need for success. That means sometimes that you'll have to endure some storms in this life, but there's no need to be afraid. He will get you through every storm that you face. And friend, he is building eternal qualities in you. And you'll be glad that you have those eternal qualities as you continue on your journey called life. Think about that, my friend, and let's pray together. 
Lord, it may seem odd to some to say thank you for our storms. But God, you take our storms and you work them together for our good to equip us and to strengthen us for your purpose. Help us see it that way, O oh Lord, and give us your power to endure even in the midst of the storms. Just as you got the disciples through the storm to the other side, You'll do the same for us, and we're grateful. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. Well, friend, I do pray that the devotion has been a blessing to you today, and if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, your life is the Bible that some may read every day. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.